So there are um, a few different reasons when an embryo doesn't take uh, from an embryo transfer. Uh, oftentimes we may not know the answer for that. That, that can be a common answer which can be frustrating. Uh, another reason is not all embryos are meant to grow and develop. So when we do an IVF cycle, we think about the embryo at day five called a blastocyst embryo. Well, ultimately a pregnancy is a 40 week pregnancy, which is 280 days. So we're using the first five days of an embryo culture to determine whether that embryo is meant to go 280 days, which is quite remarkable. Um, and so it's often puts things in perspective of how early we're trying to determine, is this an embryo meant to result in a successful pregnancy? When it doesn't take, we often get asked the question of why. And it comes down to really two different uh, possible scenarios, or maybe three, but one is we just don't know. Another reason is the uterus, so something on the uterus, the receptivity of the endometrium, which we talk about sometimes, or fibroids, or some reason in the uterus that the embryo doesn't attach. Interestingly, that doesn't account for uh, a majority of reasons why embryos don't take. It actually accounts for a small number of reasons. But the most common reason is the embryo isn't meant to take. And it's either an unhealthy embryo due to chromosomes, so we can sometimes screen embryos for that to help rule that out. But it's not always chromosomes either. It could just be an embryo that was not healthy to result in a successful pregnancy. And so uh, the, the analogy I give to some of my patients is you can be blind and have normal chromosomes. You can have autism and have normal chromosomes. You can have diabetes and have normal chromosomes. So when we screen for chromosomes in an embryo, we're getting a lot of information about that embryo, but it doesn't give us all the information. So even if we have an embryo that's normal when we test it using genetic testing and it doesn't take, although fortunately it doesn't happen very often anymore, but it's not the only thing that is uh, important in regards to whether that embryo will take and result in a successful pregnancy.